Hey there, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse, and uh, I'm just sitting here relaxing in the greenhouse. It's getting dark outside, as you can see there, and I uh, was admiring these radishes. I pulled one out, and it was fairly decent size, so... Uh, Just a little teaser. Tomorrow I think I'm going to go and harvest a bunch of these, so I'll make a video of that and you can see how well these radishes turned out. Uh, the reason I'm sitting here taking a break, though, is because I brought in some of the very last plants that I had growing inside the house over winter. And uh, those three plants were uh, a grape plant, uh, a, a large avocado, one of the very first avocados that I've ever attempted to grow and it's getting huge so it needed to be planted out here and then a bamboo plant so let me just real quick show you those and then we'll we'll stop the video and uh, tomorrow I'll harvest some of these radishes and see what they look like so um, here is my Nisbet grape and I have it labeled here but I uh, decided that I'm gonna try to grow this permanently in the greenhouse keep the greenhouse warm over winter so shouldn't be an issue but basically have these vines running up to be honest this plant was really struggling indoors I bought it kind of just as an experiment um, for fun and uh, it looks pretty sickly so just did the transplant I got vines running all over here I did a little bit of pruning just to kind of get it going and we'll see how that goes hopefully it takes off I suspect it will um, although I hear that grapes can be a little finicky about transplant but I think I got the whole root ball um, pretty well intact so the root should be okay and um, you know there's a pretty good mixture of compost and stuff down there below the plant so I think I think we'll be good to go and then uh, over here we have the bamboo plant you can see there uh, again, mounded up dirt, became very tall. I need to prune it. It was looking a little sickly indoors again. It likes to be outdoors, so we'll see. But it goes right up through the stair steps here. And uh, if you look carefully, you can see it just poking its head out there through the top next to the pineapple plant. So uh, it's going to hit the roof pretty soon here, but we'll trim it back. And uh, we need to have some bamboo in here. And then lastly is this avocado which, uh, you know, inside it, it kind of took off and grew. The stalk has never been really that sturdy. It hasn't hardened up to any kind of woody look yet. Um, but I'll just walk over here and uh, decided that I would give this a shot, keeping this indoors. Obviously in Kansas here, if uh, it gets cold in this greenhouse, it's gonna probably kill it. But um, it does have some nice growth up top. And uh, so there's a little gap here. You can kind of see between the raised bed and then as you look up here uh, the stair step there's about I don't know three inch uh, gap there where this avocado can just grow on up uh, it's eight foot tall here to the ceiling so you know after that we'll kind of have to adjust or prune it or whatever but hopefully someday we'll get some avocados off of this um, this is probably the longest oldest plant that I have um, this was you know on a lark you watch a video stick toothpicks and a avocado seed and a cup and water and watch it grow that, that that was this plant so it's probably I'm guessing about two years old maybe a little older so uh, you know I don't know how long it'll take to fruit up but we'll see I'm hoping that getting it out of the house and out in the greenhouse here will really give it a boost and uh, get it going so so there you have it tomorrow we'll talk radishes thanks hope you subscribe bye